Okay, I'm using Google Chrome. We're going to search for A Lyra. Downloads. A Lyra Antivirus Personal Free. Download now. Download now. Click save. I'm going to click run. Click continue. You want to install the files. Click next. Next again. Accept the license agreement. Next. Accept the agreement that it's for private use only. And usually when you install software you get two choices, complete or custom. Um, most of the time if you choose complete it's when you're going to end up with the toolbars and stuff like that that you don't need. So I always go to custom and then whether I want to change anything or not. I always leave the program file the same destination. And then you get these choices, um, things you want to install or not. And this is where you find the toolbars if they're hidden in there and stuff like that. We're going to leave all these checked. I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you go into custom. You can hit next. Create random serial number. It automatically gives you a serial number when you go online and registers it for you. Click next. You don't you don't really need a program group in the startup menu in here. And you may or may not want the desktop icon. Because it's going to auto load itself. You don't have to register. Just take the check marks off of here. Click next. Take the check mark off, show readme file, hit finish, and click next. Click medium, or leave it set at medium, because when you set it at high, it gets some false positives. And it thinks some files are virus and they're not. And you can end up losing a system file or something you really need. Click next. You can hit select all and it'll search everything, everything, your application, it'll act as spyware. It'll look for security, privacy, all kinds of stuff. If you don't like the way it behaves, if it's too strict, then you can hit default values and it'll go back. So we're going to select all for now to get the maximum protection. Click next. You can change this later if you like a normal startup or the secure start where it scans your computer every time before it boots up and does a bunch of other security tests. Um, it's really not necessary, um, but if you want it to do that, it'll just take a little longer for your computer to start. So we're going to leave it set on normal for this one. Hit next. Perform a short scan after installation. Leave that checked. Click next. Next, finish. Automatically scans for updates. This is the only drawback of having the free edition. Every time it updates, you get this pop-up window. They want you to, to, you know, to buy the Pro edition. Uh, nobody's figured out how to turn that off, but hey, what can you say? It's free, so. 
click OK to close the ad. You can minimize the updates when they come up. Automatically closes. You end up with a little red icon with an umbrella down on your toolbar. If you right click on that, you can go to Start Antivirus, Configure Antivirus, Start an Update, Start Antivirus. It's activated. We haven't run a scan yet. Shows the update. Under Administration, you have your Quarantine folder. The scheduler, if you want to schedule a daily scan. Right now it's set for every 24 hours. Double click on it and it will run that program. Right click on the one you want to edit. And go to Edit Job. And you can rename it if you like. And edit description. Update job. Here you can choose the interval, whether it's once, weekly, daily. Right now it's set to an interval of one day every 24 hours. Repeat job if time has expired. Change to daily. Pick your time. We'll run it once a week. You can choose whether it's minimized, invisible. I like the invisible. Right click on it and go to configure. It will give you normal mode and expert mode. You need expert mode to get into the general location. That's where you can change your scanning options. Back to default or whatever. Set your security. You have to go in and read these and see what you want it to do and what you don't. If you're not sure what they are, just leave them set to default. And you can always come in here and read, you know, change them back. Updates. Do not download product updates. Download and install product updates automatically.